Hi kids, this time we're going to talk about the effects of an earthquake. Please don't forget to take note the important details of this topic. Effects of an earthquake The destruction caused by an earthquake depends on its magnitude and extent of shaking. High magnitude and long ground shaking during an earthquake can damage buildings and ridges. Destruction of property and loss of lives The structures above the ground where strong earthquakes occur are usually destroyed when ground ruptures occur. Ground ruptures can destroy any structure in the area such as houses, building, dams, bridges, and roads. Figure 8.17 shows the Haiti earthquake. Ground rupture is the breaking and displacement of the Earth's surface along the trace of the fault. Ground rupture is visible on the Earth's surface. We sometimes refer to this as cracks on the ground. Ground ruptures can even separate rivers and roads by a few meters in case of major earthquakes. They may also cause the loss of people's lives. Figure 8.18 shows the Bohol earthquake on October 15, 2013. Ground rupture and displacement of Earth's surface occur along the trace of the fault. Landslide and avalanche Earthquakes can cause landslides and avalanches in mountainous areas. Ground shaking loosens rocks and soil, which causes the rocks and soil to slide and bury area below the mountain. In mountains covered with ice, avalanches may occur. Landslides and avalanches cause damage to the place below the hilly and mountainous areas where they occur. Fire Earthquakes can cause fire. Fires can happen during an earthquake when electrical power and gas lines break. The extent of damage caused by post-earthquake fires depends on the types of building and materials used. Ruptured gas lines and connections may lead to numerous fires that can claim several lives. Tsunami a tsunami is a huge underwater wave produced when an earthquake occurs under the sea. A tsunami is formed when rocks along a fault slip. The sudden movement of the rocks produces a shock wave through the water above it and makes powerful waves. The waves on the ocean surface spread out across the ocean and reach the shallow water. The waves get bigger and taller when the waves reach shallow water near land. These waves can submerge places in coastal areas. Tsunami waves can be 500 feet or 15 meters high. When a huge tsunami hits the shore, it can cause terrible floods. The floods wash away properties and damage buildings. Many people can drown when a tsunami hits land. Tsunami waves occurred in Miyagi Prefecture, Japan on March 11, 2011 after an earthquake struck. The tsunami waves as high as 23.6 meters or 77 feet touched Japan within minutes after the earthquake. Tsunami Warning Tsunami warnings could be given before a tsunami heads toward land. Before tsunamis reach the shore, you can observe that the water along the shoreline move rapidly toward the sea, exposing the land that is normally underwater. When this happens, a tsunami warning could be given to the community. 
When a warning is given, people should head immediately to higher ground because a tsunami could hit any time. The Philippines is prone to tsunamis, especially in places along the shore and those facing the Pacific Ocean. A warning system has been set in coastal areas and in the Pacific Islands to alert people if a tsunami is likely to occur. Since earthquakes frequently occur in the Pacific Ocean, the threat of tsunami is constant. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button to notify you of my new uploaded videos.